Andy Warhols. Cold pressed coffee. Vinyl records. I was drinking at Starbucks before it was cool. <laughs> that was awesome. I'm having trouble keeping a straight face. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> I'm fine. Oh, how does he do we've, it? We've already broken the one Wes Anderson role, but um, that's how does so, he do um, it? So if it wasn't obvious by our uh, hipster opening, yep. if if that's what we can call it, and we can call it hipster opening. Um, we are here to see Wes Anderson's new movie, Isle of Dogs. Yep. Um, it's his first like wholly animated movie since Fantastic Mr. Fox, which, uh, as far as I'm concerned, is his second best movie to date. With, um, so I'm really excited for this. To any of you who don't know, the guy we're talking about, Wes Anderson, he's that guy who, like, when you hear someone say, when you hear, like, someone say, oh, my God, that movie was so Wes Anderson, like, that's him. It's He's the director most associated with pretentiousness in the indie scene. Yeah. They're, they're so, these movies are so artsy and symmetrical that you could shake an art department at it or something. I feel like, like that. that was a mm-hmm. really good analogy. <laughs> Thank you. So what, do you what are you guys all thinking about when you're going into this movie? What are you looking forward to, or... Well, I gotta I gotta come clean. I have seen I've seen two non spoiler reviews of it, so I kind of have an idea of what to go in on. Mm-hmm. Uh, two of them very very opposite opinions, so oh. I still think there's there's enough room for me to have get my own feel for it. But uh, I've, I'm I'm not really too familiar with Wes with Anderson, so this will be yeah something new for me. Not either. So yeah, very yeah. curious. He he's the kind of director that uh, if you don't know what to expect going in, it's sort of a weird first experience. All right. On that note, let's go see a movie about dogs. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so thoughts. Uh, oh, well, we just got out of seeing uh, yeah, I love dogs. Yeah. Or a dog's purpose, I guess you could call it. That's the other title. Yeah, I mean. I have to agree with the title. I do love dogs. Yeah. <laughs> I, I do love dogs, too. Yeah. Um, so I guess, uh, just to start us off, gut reactions, what do you think of this movie? Honestly, I didn't... That was a lot better than I expected. And, like, mm-hmm. yeah. it was... I don't know if this is cheesy, but it was pretty emotionally gripping to me. Cause yeah, like, absolutely. I, I love it's animals. Dogs. It's dogs, yeah. yeah it's dogs. Like, if, if they put people in, the, in those perspectives, I, I, I wouldn't care as much. Maybe there's, like... An occasional character that gets me, but like yeah. mm-hmm. seeing that happen to dogs and stuff, it's just so much. Yeah, yeah, it's worse. gripping. I know. <laughs> well, let me tell you, I grew up with like multiple dogs in my house. I volunteered at my local animal shelter for multiple years. I, I, you know, I love animals. So just seeing the world through that perspective, that's kind of an incredible feeling, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah. Just uh, it, yeah, it is a very emotional film, and I'm not sure if that mm-hmm. is because of the uh, perspective or just because of how gut wrenchingly sad some parts of it are. Yeah. yeah. Um, I do love how the dogs talk like normal human beings. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like right at the beginning, like they're about to fight the one pack of dogs, and they're like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa wait, let's just check the food first. I want to make sure this is some good food we're yeah, fighting it for." Yeah, it humanizes them, and in a sense, it's like it. yeah. people are like the dogs in that movie. We don't understand them too much. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's like one or two characters we can understand. They're somehow more human than any other Wes Anderson character. Like they're somehow more emotional than any other yeah. Wes Anderson mm-hmm. character. It's just a very interesting way of seeing things. Do you think it's? I know you've seen a lot of. Do you think it's one of his best? I, I you know, I'd have a tough time ranking it. Um, right now, I, it's like up there with Grand Budapest Hotel. Like for me, it's neck and neck. So um, yeah, I, I don't know if I have an absolute preference yet. I might need to give this time to digest. But um, yeah, it's definitely one of Wes Anderson's better films. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I think like for casual viewers, this is a good Wes Anderson film to start with. You know? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, Definitely made for a more mainstream audience than some of his earlier work. Yeah, it was really funny. I remember, like, there were a lot of parts that like, I was, like, laughing at. Well, that, that's another thing about Wes Anderson. Just pretty much anything he's ever written. It's a very dry sort of humor. It just flows really well. You yeah. Know? It's um, just the general mood of, like, his movies, because everything's really straightforward and robotic, mm-hmm. and it really adds to a lot of the humor. Because, like, a lot of the parts, it's like... Oh yeah, this this uh, this dog was brutally murdered this way. It's like oh, it's just gloss right over that. That's <laughs> oh yeah, I remember the, the didn't he say like uh, her sister or something got like got crushed, crushed in like a glass yeah. something like, something just so casually. Yeah, <laughs> it's like oh, let's just glance over that. That and the cannibal dogs, I remember. Yeah, we only ate one dog one time. That, that was <laughs> that was pretty gripping though. Yeah, when we started yeah. getting into it. Yeah, I love how I love there they started to howl and like. Like in, like in between the story, they're yeah, starting to cry that was like good. they'd howl. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that was, I like that too. Also, who was that? Uh, I, I, that's Harvey Keitel, right? 
the uh, one like leader of the uh, cannibal dogs. Yeah, but, yeah, that was Harvey Keitel. Yeah, it had but, like a lot of famous people in it. Yeah, lo- oh, really. Yeah. really I did not just, know yeah. Brian Cranston was like uh, the main character. I yeah. thought he was going to be like there in the supporting role. Yeah, I, I knew Yoko Ono. That surprised yeah. me. <laughs> Yoko Ono plays assistant researcher Yoko. Yoko Ono. Ono. <laughs> 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 she had the Y and the O in her hair too, uh. just in case you. <laughs> I yeah. thought that was cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Brian Cranston, he was chief, right? Yeah, he mm-hmm. was chief, yeah. I really liked his character. There's yeah, just something like interesting yeah. about, like, the way his character was compared to everyone else. Like, everyone else was a bit mm-hmm. more, like, I guess you'd say stilted. Yeah. Whereas, like, he, I, I feel it's because, like, they were all, like, house-trained, domesticated, and he was a stray. He was just, yeah. like, different yeah. from them. Yeah, he definitely had this really interesting character and character arc, you know. Um, mm-hmm. And I, I think he always longed for that sort of uh, master dog relationship, you know. Mm-hmm. Oh, and I know this is a spoiler, but I have a question. Like, so, because this is a spoiler, so yeah, we've already done yeah. spoilers. Yeah, so, uh... but then, so was that like spots mixed with like a robot dog, like kind of like together? Because he had like his eyes were green, robot. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like. Uh, they replaced some of the parts that, like, yeah. uh, he lost in, like, the last battle, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Battle. I love that. That was so funny. <laughs> mm-hmm. Those battles were great. <laughs> that, I, was, I just yeah, love how, like... Fight scenes. I remember it's like, uh, they all tried to, like, uh, peer pressure a chief into, like, fighting the robot dogs. Like, You're really good at fighting. It's just <laughs> the same thing for all of yeah. them. Just a gust of smoke. Mm-hmm. All in favor of, uh... Chief fighting the robot dog, say aye. Aye, nay. She go fight that robot dog. <laughs> yeah. That was funny. Yeah, very utilitarian. I, 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 I really dig it, you know? Um, yeah. <laughs> so, um, I will say, Wes Anderson's no stranger to stop motion, you know? Fantastic, uh, Fantastic Mr. Fox is the obvious example of I his really only other... Now. Re- yeah. Really good. See it. Based off, back, of, yeah. based off a book by one of my favorite authors growing up. Really good. Um... I will say the animation alone is so much better than any of his previous work. I, I, I will say I love claymation. Yeah. It's such a cool mm-hmm. animation style, so distinct. Yeah. Very cool to see like mainstream movies adopting the style. You know? Yeah, it's mm-hmm. really if cool to see the stuff people do. Yeah. This is a pretty big movie, I think. Yeah. yeah, I think so. I really do. This is a. I don't really know how to explain this one too well, but like I love the perspective of the movie, like this this front to back thing. Like, yeah, and I never felt like. It's so, I never felt like they were moving left to right in a sense. It's always like I felt like I was watching like something on a stage or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Like we always had that perspective because it's always I'm looking back and forth mm-hmm. and you know panning left and right. I guess. Yeah, like that music kind of like made it seem like it's on a stage. Yeah, that like, music the song was really really good. Yeah, like the drums and everything. Yeah, I like get that. Again, watch any Wes Anderson movie. That's very much his style. Like, yeah. He, he pretty much approaches every movie with that same sort of movement, with that same sort of like undertone. It, 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 it's just uh, the kind of thing like if you like Wes Anderson, that's what you're gonna get, you know. Mm-hmm. So um, yeah, see this movie. Yeah. All right. So it's been Lower Reviews, right? Yeah. I'm CJ. That's Eric. Ken, who doesn't have any social media links, so yeah. there's just gonna be a blank space somewhere here. And there's Jake. <laughs> Again. Thank you. Good night. I love dogs. I love dogs. I love dogs. I love dogs. I love dogs.